In this video, you will learn how the PureLink XP Endotoxin-Free Maxi Plasmid Purification Kit enables isolation of large quantities of ultra-pure endotoxin-free plasmid DNA for use in your most sensitive downstream applications, such as transfection in primary, immune, or neuronal cells, in vivo experiments, or gene therapy in plasmid DNA vaccine research. This kit is based on novel Maxi columns featuring the enhanced anion exchange membranes, allowing vacuum or centrifugation-assisted workflows, which are substantially faster compared to the gravity-based workflows for older resin-based columns. This protocol takes as little as 90 minutes. Prepare 100 milliliters of overnight bacterial culture for plasmid isolation with a measured density at A600 of 2 to 4. To lyse cells from your overnight culture, First, harvest cells by centrifugation at 4,000 times G for 15 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. Carefully discard the supernatant and add 6 milliliters of resuspension buffer with RNase A, an optionally lysis indicator, to the cell pellet. Resuspend by vortexing or pipetting until the sample is homogeneous. Next, add 6 milliliters of lysis buffer. The mixture will turn blue when using the lysis indicator. Mix gently by inverting the cap tube until the mixture is homogeneous. Incubate at room temperature for 5 minutes. Then add 6 milliliters of precipitation buffer and immediately mix by inverting the cap tube until the mixture is homogeneous. If using lysis indicator, the solution turns completely colorless. Carefully pour the lysate into a lysate clarification column, pre-inserted in a 50 milliliter conical tube with a white cap. Centrifuge in a swinging bucket rotor at 1,000 times G for 4 minutes. The clarified lysate contains plasmid DNA. Remove and discard the lysate clarification column. Add 2.5 milliliters of endotoxin removal buffer to the clarified lysate and mix by inverting the 50 milliliter conical tube 10 times. Attach the DNA binding column to a vacuum manifold and load the clarified lysate onto the column. Apply vacuum to drain the solution. Your plasma DNA is now bound to the column. Add one column volume of wash buffer and apply a vacuum to drain the solution. To elute plasma DNA, place the DNA binding column into an endotoxin free 50 milliliter conical tube with a blue cap. Add 15 milliliters of elution buffer to the column and incubate for one minute. Centrifuge at 1000 times G for one minute. Remove and discard the column. Your plasmid DNA is in the eluate. Add 10.5 milliliters or 0.7 volumes of isopropanol to the eluate and mix well. Centrifuge at greater than 12,000 times G for 30 minutes at 4 degrees. Remove and discard the supernatant. Wash the DNA pellet with 5 milliliters of 70% ethanol. Centrifuge at greater than 12,000 times G for 10 minutes at 4 degrees. Remove the supernatant. Lastly, resuspend your purified plasma DNA in TE buffer. Your plasma DNA is now ready for downstream applications.